Thank you so much, everyone. So I am from Singapore. Uh, yep, that never gets a woo. <laughs> oh, too late, guys. I came to America for college. I went to Indiana. And the first thing I learned was that, man, y'all cannot tell Asians apart. <laughs> I learned this because back in college, when I go to the bars with my Asian posse, we could all get in with just one ID. <laughs> We use my dad's ID. <laughs> I had an American boyfriend in college. His name was Michael. He went to Harvard. And my mom didn't like that he was a white guy, but he went to Harvard, right? So <laughs> that makes him half Asian. First time we slept together, halfway through, he went, who's your daddy, who's your daddy? I was like, he's Anthony Chia. <laughs> Why the sudden need to know my dad's name? <laughs> you couldn't have asked me that at brunch? <laughs> oh, um... Do you need him to find you an internship? <laughs> so I end up saying to him, Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Because <laughs> I realized I needed an internship. <laughs> and I work for Michael's dad. So in Asian culture, we don't take compliments very well. When someone compliments us, we'll deny it and we turn the compliment back even more. So for example, if you, white guy, <laughs> if you were to tell me that I'm smart, I'll go, oh no, I am not smart. You are so smart. <laughs> no, white guy like that one. <laughs> don't get that too often, huh? No. <laughs> When I first came to America, I got my first cat call. This guy went, yo, mama, your titties are fine. <laughs> and I went, oh, no. <laughs> your titties, your titties. So fine. Mm -hmm. And that's how I met Michael. <laughs> After college, I moved to New York and dating's really hard for me here. This is what happens. After three or four dates, the guy will go, hey, Jocelyn, just so you know, I'm not looking for a relationship. Yeah, after a while, I decided to use reverse psychology by being the first to tell men that I wasn't looking for a relationship. Uh-huh, using that old noodle. <laughs> and that is how I ended up with 50 fuck buddies. <laughs> yeah, that's how we do it, uh-huh. In Asian families, we don't really say I love you to one another. So when I was 12, I decided to tell my parents that I love them. Yeah, because I'm a rebel. <laughs> I went up to my dad. I was like, hey, daddy, I love you. And he went, ah. <laughs> I, not looking for a relationship. <laughs> Hey ladies, are you with me when I say this? I pride myself on being a strong, independent woman. Yeah, uh-huh. But in the bedroom, I like to be dominated. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, girl? Uh-huh. Yank my hair, spank my ass, while telling me you deserve to make 75 cents on the dollar. Oh my God, I get so turned on when the guy goes, who makes a whole dollar? Who makes a whole dollar? <laughs> 
So I have a Chinese name, Bi Zi, and Chinese names always have some kind of meaning behind them, like great warrior or future president or please, not a comedian. <laughs> I was asking my parents what my name means, and they said, oh, your name means needs to be hardworking. Well, I think you guys should be called needs to be better parents. <laughs> All right, what's my sister's name mean? Oh, her name means great beauty. <laughs> Mother, father. <laughs> I'm your firstborn child and she gets great beauty. Can we go back to the good old days in China where the second daughter gets abandoned? <laughs> like really, do you take your firstborn child into your arms, gaze upon my baby face, and when, yeah. <laughs> Let's save great beauty for our second child. <laughs> This one looks like she's gonna have to work hard. <laughs> and they're like, Jocelyn, calm down. In Asia, it's better to be hardworking than pretty. I was like, oh, tell that to the men I'm trying to get with. <laughs> right, which guy goes around saying, yeah, I'm gonna get me a hardworking girl. <laughs> I can't wait to go home tonight and Ride my workhorse? <laughs> oh, hey, uh, you know that chick I banged last night? Mm-hmm. Employee of the month. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You have an amazing job. City, 